So we're just about to go to a cafe now. It's one of the, it's the number one in mm -hmm. Rome. So I'm excited to try get it. Coffee. Get some coffee, maybe some pastries in the area and do a bit of shopping today. We're kind of late back today because we slept in, but we're still gonna make the most out of today and I'll just take you along for the ride. So this is the Monacella, so it's got chocolate and coffee, can't go wrong with that. And this is the Milk Bowl, that looks really good actually. So enjoy mm, croissant. This is delicious. There we go. This is really good. You like it? What's I your love product? it. It's, it's like chocolate. So I'm just going to give you guys just a quick little run through. When you come to this place, um, if you want to sit outside and order outside, you have to sit down. Then the waiter will come to you and take your order. So if you want to sit and eat outside, you don't go inside, you sit outside. There is a table charge, so the coffee price is actually a little bit higher when you sit outside versus if you go inside and uh, order there. If you go inside, there is like a standing table, so you can stand inside and have it, but and then you won't get charged the table fee, which is not a big deal, really. And then like I showed you guys inside how they have the pastries and all that. You can also do takeout, which is as you can anywhere else, but if you want to eat outside, then you just sit on the table. area that we started off when we first came to Rome. This is uh, in the Pantheon area, the Egyptian pillar. They have a lot of these, a lot of Egyptian pillars. Coffee was phenomenal, the pastries were really good. Highly recommend going to that place for sure. How folk are these lenses? I'm such a tourist. I'm showing you guys the fountain. Let this view. It's so beautiful. It's honestly so well taken care of. This is from 1732. And I've been to other countries. I'm telling you, here in Italy, they really, really take care of their historic site. So, so impressed by it. And again, it's very well taken care of. So clean. There's no dirt around it. Despite how many thousands of tourists are here right now, there's a lot and they still maintain it. There's someone going around cleaning everything. I'm beyond impressed by that. And they do recycle here, which is quite nice. I miss, I'm glad to see that happening. And I know it's not a third world country, so I can appreciate that. So the man's taking a nap right now and we're just kind of walking around. So I think the heat today is actually hotter than any of the other days that we've had so far. It's quite uh, humid today. So we've been uh, sticking to the shade and trying to take it a little bit easier just because of how hot it is. And with all the people, it's very sticky too. So the nice thing is most, oh, Magnum, look at that. Who wants ice cream? <laughs> you wanna do it? Yeah. Say hi. Yeah, Yusuf loves Magnum. We're gonna get some Magnum ice cream. I got a chocolate Magnum and I topped it with honeycomb and I have yeah, some chocolate on my hand. Uh, hazelnut and pistachio. Looks like this, you have the chocolate in the center. Mm. Yeah, let's really see. good, really chocolatey. Let's see yeah. My mom got me a hat. What do you guys think? Super, super Italian. Mama, do we look Vogue? Yeah. I like how yours crimps. How, why is mine not crimping? naturally. <laughs> I like how hers crimps. Ah. It's turkey, sun-dried tomato, and pesto. Mm -hmm. And cheese. That's very good. What do you guys think? Should I go up? I don't know. I'm kind of tired, I won't lie. And there's a fountain over here. It's beautiful. It's a really hot day though. Let's stop at this cafe called Grillo for lunch. So we have my favorite pizza, the fungi, which is a mushroom pizza. Mama got the mushroom pasta, fungi fettuccine, and these have got the ravioli, which we haven't really tried ravioli yet, so I think hopefully it'll be good. This smells so, so good right now. Yeah, it's awesome. Mmm. Mm. 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 
Thank you. So that's where the twin churches were, where I just was down there. Hi, Mr. Italia. Are you having fun today? He's been munching on pizza today. A little troublemaker. My little troublemaker. He had a really good nap this morning. That was really good. And now he's just like sightseeing and talking to people. Hi, Selena. So we're still at the top, but we're walking to the other side to see the view. The sun is right behind me. New vlogger issues. It's hard to get the right angles. But it's so beautiful. It's got the day's gotten a bit better now that it's uh, not high noon. High noon was really, really hot. This is a local park at the top. This kind of reminds me, on a much grander scale, of uh, the Montreal Park at the top of the mountain. Here's the sunset view inside. So we're in Venice right now. We're just waiting for the water taxi because uh, we got a pass because we're here for the next few days. Um, the water taxi come every 15 minutes to half an hour. So we just got off the water bus now and we're heading towards our Airbnb. And then um, it's basically like a maze. So He's telling us the directions, it's like left, right, right, left, left, right, and so on and so forth. And he's telling us to memorize it because the thing is, the maps don't exactly say where you are, even on the Google Maps, so this will be interesting. We might get lost a couple times. Hey guys, so we just got a chance to freshen up. I wore a new outfit. This is where we're staying. It's a nice Airbnb. I'll link it in the description below for those interested. A lot of people tend to stay in this area. Um, the most important thing about Venice to know is that there is a lot of pickpocketers <laughs> here. I almost got pickpocketed in Rome, which I'll tell you guys about. I was at the Spanish Steps and as I was vlogging here, I looked down at my phone, at my um, bag suddenly and I hadn't felt anything by the way. But I looked down at my bag suddenly and there was someone trying to open up my bag and then I smacked their hand away and a cop came and started whistling and he ran. So. <laughs> That was quite the experience, but now I'm going to be extra diligent about it because um, they're more here and they're a lot better at it. Even the locals get pickpocketed here quite often, so we're just going to be extra careful. Right now, we're just going to go grab a bite to eat, and I'll show you guys some of that. All right here from our table. Same as sitting with Cookie, this uh, vintage high chair. We're on Venice now. We just took a short boat ride. And over here, you can see the gondolas. People are going on the gondolas. This is one of the main squares here in Venice. This is Doji's Palace. Look at that view. This sunset is gorgeous. How beautiful it is. The tower. This Not far at all. And it was a quick boat ride. We bought one of those passes. The more days you're in Venice, the cheaper the pass. I think we got a three day pass. Simon's chilling over here. He's ready to sleep for sure. Good morning, guys. It's day two here in Venice, and we're just going now to get some coffee and pastries for breakfast. This is the area where we're staying. It's like I said, just off the island. So I'll have all the details for that in my description below for those interested in staying in this area. I recommend it, it's very safe, it's residential. People are quite nice here and it's clean. <laughs> it's also really quiet so you can actually get a chance to kind of relax and uh, de-stress from the day. Especially with a baby, they need maybe a little more quiet than the whole party rowdy type uh, environment over on the island. 
I think this is a beautiful area and you really get a feel for the whole Venetian architecture. I love it. See the alleyways? It really feels like you're in Italy here. This is the coffee and pastry shop. Oh, yeah. We just ordered some cappuccino. Allora, chi fa? Grazie. Prego, signori. E il tiramisù. Io metto in mezzo. I felt like having a fruit tart this morning. Why not? Mm. This is calling my name. Mm -hmm. You have to try the great with the olives are amazing. This is the best fruit tart I've ever had. Mm. It is so good. Concino, they called it. He likes it. He likes the rice. Yeah, it's very tasty. Mm. Of course. <laughs> I got crumbs all over my lap. So good though. Almond croissant. My husband tried it. Not bad. No, it's not bad. I like it, but it just definitely has an egg flavor. Kind of reminds me of the por uh, Portuguese egg tart. I'm gonna try the tiramisu. So this was invented in Venice. Invented in Venice. Guys, look at this beautiful pièce de résistance. Definitely invented in Venice. You can tell because they mastered it. Yeah. <laughs> How is it? Invented here. Yeah. Mm. What do you think, Yusuf? Mm, very good. Yeah, you like it? Oh, who doesn't like it? How many? What's the YNS rating? Uh, Four point five. Ooh, that's good. We're on one of the buses now to go through the Grand Canal. So this is a really good way to see the Grand Canal instead of getting a taxi or a gondola. You can do a gondola. It's really hot right now though, so a gondola is not a good idea unless it's sunset. What we can do with a water bus is you can buy the passes, which you're going to probably have anyways, and then you can take the water bus through the Grand Canal. And this way you get to see everything as if you're doing a sightseeing tour. And if you like anything in particular, you can get off but rather than being stuck on the gondola or stuck on a water taxi or whichever. So that's what we're doing right now. We're just going through the Grand Canal and if we see anything we like, then we're going to get down. just found another market. This is at a Rialto Mercato stop. So as soon as you get off, you go through the gates and you're gonna find a market with lots of fresh fruit and vegetables, uh, some clothing and souvenirs here as well for a reasonable price. So we just stopped inside of a gelateria and I'm actually getting sorbetti, which is like a shake made with sorbet. It's gonna be really good. There's a special citrus flavor called um, sudachi, which is up on the board there. I'll show you guys what it is, but it's basically it's kind of like pomelo. I think it's similar to that, but more sour. So this is a sorbetti drink. Mm. It's really refreshing. It's definitely got a tart flavor. It's more sour than lemon, but it's good. <laughs> we just tried to go back on the boat, but it's rush hour, so it's super crowded. It reminded me very much so of Japan, and when we were crowded in the subway station, it's that crowded. They kind of stuff you in like sardines at this hour. It's almost, I want to say it's past 2.30, so it's almost 3 o'clock. So just a heads up, if you're going to be on the boat and you're trying to do like a tour type thing, don't go on the boat at that hour, not around 3. We're going to basically go around here in this area where there's a famous church right behind me. Check out this area and kind of make the most of it until the rush hour dies down a little bit and then we'll get back on the boat again. Grand Canal is very beautiful. So we're just grabbing some groceries. Right behind our Airbnb is an actual grocery store. And look at this. It's so cool. They have so many different flavors. So we're just gonna grab a couple things for our, uh, I guess, home, away from home. And we're gonna uh, head out for dinner after that. I come here for dinner because it also looks really good for dinner. They started us off with some bread. Look at the assortment they give you. 
And then I got a pear juice. This is really, really good, actually. These have got a lot of lemon, as she likes to say, with Coca-Cola. And Mama got apricot juice. We ordered some grilled oysters. We have our Wagyu beef here. We got, that, the so that I got the Wagyu beef. I'm so excited to try this. That melts, melts in your mouth. Look at that. So we went with burgers because they sounded really good actually. So they have their own, um, this is the, from the butcher they said, their cut of meat. And then it has a delicious tomato, some onions, cabbage, yeah, and some delicious french fries. I'm ready. Dinner was good. We're just gonna head back to our, our uh, Airbnb now and just kind of relax, take it easy. We have some laundry that needs to be done. Just kind of unwind. It's been a long, long day. We've walked a lot, we've seen a lot. And this little guy needs to sleep. Good morning guys from Venice. Today is a gloomy day, but we're still gonna make the most out of it. We're leaving for Rome today around evening time. So this is our official last day in Venice. Um, we decided to hit up our favorite cafe again. The Meher one, or Meher, no one got behind me. Today man's right over here. He had a bit of a rough morning. He got pepper in his eyes because he was trying to eat chips. This is the cafe. They have the best stuff. I love it here. So we definitely wanted to stop here again and uh, try some of their pastries, get a good coffee, and then hopefully maybe walk around a little bit before we leave. Um, I think we're going to spend the last portion of today on the island. I don't think we're going to go to Venice just because it's really gloomy and it could potentially rain on us. But it's a beautiful day. It's 24 degrees. I got my favorite. All right, look how good that is. Grazie. <laughs> So we're just at the uh, Venice train station right now because we're going to be leaving back to Rome and then our flight will be tomorrow afternoon in Shalva. So it's always that bittersweet feeling where you're excited to go home but you're sad to be leaving because it's been such a great trip. Luckily for us today is actually a gloomy day so I don't feel too horrible. It would be so much more difficult to leave when it's uh, sunny but as you can see it's gloomy. We had sunshine just for this afternoon that we're, we were here. So it rained in the morning, then we had sunshine, and now it's gloomy again as we're leaving. So alhamdulillah, it worked out that way. But we're just waiting in the train station. Our train is around in the evening time. It's about a three and a half hour train or so. Hopefully no delays. There was delays when we were coming here, so I'm kind of hoping it'll be not delayed this time. Today man is kind of at his wit's end right now, so we're just trying to keep him calm. We brought books. I highly recommend bringing a lot of toys with you when you travel, especially with a toddler. They're not as easily entertained as an 8 month old or 10 month old. With, with like smaller babies, you can give them a piece of paper and they're totally fine well, while watching them. That's just an example. But you can literally give them anything and they'd be super happy. With a toddler, not as much. So I brought books, I brought blocks, I brought squeeze toys, I brought anything and everything that could keep them occupied. And then the last resort would be the phone if I absolutely have to. But I try to avoid that as much as possible just because I find that once you give them the phone, nothing else will satisfy. So that's my last resort. 